Hey guys, this is Amaya, and we're here with our second, third win with Hermit. Um, so this guy is the first guy I found, and yeah. So, I'm just doing a little stuff here with my inventory, and yeah, me crafting the sword. So I'm really feel like making another one. Um, side to the mines, so I'm just gonna skip forward. So yeah, I've mined 27 iron, and I am now in the smelting process. Um, so yeah, I'm going out for flint and steel. And yes, so I found my flint coming back. And yes. In games, I recommend you get 20 ore of each and 7 logs and a stone sword. And get logs by a minute. Every you want, you can do this strategy. Um, it's about like 20 seconds on soup and make a stone sword. And that was it takes like a minute. And then you find the guy and kill him so he can't get any wood and then you kill him for his shrooms. Um my friend does that. But yeah. Um I've been in this game for 20 minutes. Then I ends up lasting like 45, so. Remember, I skipped like a lot. Um, I just ran and was arriving at feast, so I skipped a little of that too. See a guy in the corner with no armor and an iron sword only. I screwed him three times. Not ready to see diamond truck. I was so fast I didn't even need to slow down. I just quitted him. He just runs. I'm actually going to slow it because. Beasts are always intense. In the beginning of the game, this guy, Burgaloo or something like that, said, See exactly, no teaming, cuz there's only 20 people. Um, we'll see why I think he's the biggest hypocrite ever. Brung board. Um, yeah, just waiting. I see the name. I do something cuz I felt like it. He doesn't see me. I just come down, get him in a combo. He can't touch me. I don't think he hit me once. I took the damage from fall. I don't think I really want except his shrooms. I did get shrooms with the guy I recruited though. I think like 20 or something like that because I had 20 of each. Oh yeah, when I was going to feast, I had like 3 each. I got like 20 of each, made some of bowls. That's nothing important though. Um, come back. Don't see the guy in the left hand corner, which would have made this game a lot shorter. See his friend though. Said not to leave feast. 
I want to do a hell flannel. Those two. I hate them so much. Brung's Ward, actually, he's not the original teamer. He tries to team up. Gets betrayed. But Brung's Ward was actually probably my least favorite player in this game. Um, sorry, Brung Ward, but I hate you. You made this game, I mean, Towers, I knew I'd come in too, but. Yeah, I just got kicked. I was lagging because he was frozen. And while, unfortunately, while I was frozen, he actually got to the tower. So now, I think there's an Endermage and a Fisherman. It's going to be a problem. I'm actually not, even if he was Stomper, I wouldn't be that scared because my elevation is an 81. So a 40 buck Stomp will not, well, I, of course I wouldn't actually team with them. I wouldn't just kill them, but... Yeah. So this feast is really intense, so I actually, a bunch of little things happen, so if I sped it up and slow down, I just take a bunch of armor, basically. Oh, I see a guy. That's Brongbord, my least favorite player in this game. And I just made the whole feast. See, I get stopped with just like six hearts. If he didn't run back, he would have been dead. I actually probably killed, could have killed him there. One game I did help out a guy though. I mean, why not? Oops, went to you. I knew. I mean, it's not their fault. I mean, I've towered at beast before. I mean, of course, I'd rather not have him, but I mean, what can you do? I'm not really scared of anyone reading. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just had to put on my armor right now, because why not show them that I'm really powerful now? Oh, he goes for it again. This guy's pretty good, actually. Let's open a chest, and then I guess I'm greeted by the diamond chest plate that will give me full diamond armor. It's really nice. This game was so nice to me, except for the fact that there were so many things that guy was really annoying, and for the fact enchanting just sucked for me. Watch this. Smite. Well, thanks for killing spiders, but I really don't care. And I get blast protected, which I guess is okay. And there are a lot of mobs now. And I see this guy's trying to set up that uh, PvP traps old one when Ender Rage wasn't nerfed and you could take fall damage and that trap was super OP. Take that enchanting table. And I do what most people do anyway. I say, do you know what? I see it. But I realize it's not F0, so he's not going to have the easiest time. One, two, three, four, five, and for some reason I don't use that sixth. I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry, but he's like, what the fuck, asshole. Oh, because they betrayed him, not because I blew up the feast. That makes more sense. So, yeah. Throw that away. I decided to make the Venoron channel infinite source. Yay. First, I didn't really remember how it works. I was taking it from the corners. Then I realized it's from the middle. After a while, I realized it's from the middle. Yeah, here's where I realized it's from the middle. I just sat right here, it's probably where I was gonna fall, so I'm gonna if I my plan was to make a mage me and keep maging me. 
and make it look like I just fell in the water and then his trap actually worked. I really want to make me. And then I go in my inventory and he mages me, which is kind of annoying. Right here, I get mage. Well, well, this trap doesn't work, bitch. Yeah. Um, if it's going like that, what you can do is you flood a lot, basically, and then it will come together and like become one of those big, weird shaped ones like that, and then all of a sudden it just spreads. Watch. <laughs> it's so weird. You just keep placing it. And that's basically how you flood. If there's a tower, that's how I recommend to do it. Um, mm-mm. And then I see the stomper. Kind of confused. But then he realizes I see him. I should have potioned him. He's actually a pretty good super considering the fact he had no armor and stone sword and didn't die right there. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, this whole feast was kind of intense, so I'm not gonna speed. I kept thinking he was going to meet me and knock me off and I would die. And I realize he's trying to get me to chase him so he can get mage. Oh, this guy. Oops, Wendy wasn't that bad. It was just annoying how he could soup. And I get myself, of course, rather than him. It's kind of retarded. Uh-oh. I realize what he's going to try to do. He's going to try to get me back up. So, yeah. I honestly don't know where it is. I keep tracking the squirt. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Make it look like I just fell in the water. And the first time your trap just glitched. This feast was honestly really annoying. Now we're 30 minutes in this game. Don't worry, you only have to watch 10 more minutes of this torture. <laughs> then I realized what I have to do to get able to parkour up there. Look back up. And I'm greeted by his 
Oh, no, his friend isn't back yet. And this brung brung board. So the don't mage him, which is kinda annoying. He somehow is able to get me there. Mm -hmm. Oh his friend of course is mage. For a uh, noob. He fell in water cause you all dead faggot. I die in a whole bitch face, bitch. I thought this guy was just a bitch. Well, these are a bit easier for me to record again because I don't lag as much as you can see. I'm getting 120, which is better than my 100, is better than 70 FPS with audio. And I could just record it after, and it's not as valuable, not as good voice talking and stuff, not as good content for commentating, but still it's easier for me to get better, I guess better wins and stuff. Oh, he stops here, which is crucial. He obviously has to get up somehow. You don't go up here, bitch. Died. Happiest moment of that game. No, not that. That was not the happiest moment of that game. At the time, I felt like... That was that his moment of the game, even though it wasn't. Now I have four kills. It's horrible. I'll go back to the mage. He was a trap. Maybe you'll mage me again. I really don't want to have to tower up to him. But yeah. I don't know if you guys want to see me do traps though. So, yeah. If you do, put it in the comments. So, I know the last you guys are. Of course, walk off because I'm third. And then I. He mages me in the wrong place. He just takes off. He lags again. He jumps. Don't jump. Actually, do jump. Dead. So that whole tower is now dead. It's really nice. And I type bitch before that other guy can get to me. Because now, yeah. Well, nice. Thank you for saying nice. This part is a little boring. Except for this. Yeah, they betrayed him, but you said no trap in the beginning. I'm trying to... Uh, he could have not been a bitch, and I could have liked him if he did this. I actually would have given him some stuff. I wouldn't have killed him, I would have fair to fight him. So as I, I just got betrayed by those two, I can't risk it even if I probs lose. What kid are you? He can't tell me. But I find out later. This actually is kind of a mixture between two. I do something I haven't done in a while, because I did last video, I'm MLG without getting killed. I just decided to do this style, because what, what the heck. Water. You screwed, mate. So, yeah. 19 minutes in this game. Oh, really? Yeah, really, Dumbo. I don't kill him right here, I'll tell you that. So, I'm not gonna do this low down because it's just a boring part of the whole thing. I just don't like this guy. He breaks it, so I, he thinks I can't do anything. I just drink a soup, pick up the blocks, replace them. Hit him once. And I just see swimming. And I'm breaking and I just see he's down. It would have been really funny if I missed the water down there. So this is where it gets really boring. 
and this is why I hate this guy. Running to nowhere, no place, no trap, it's him and me just running for these. I'm not gonna stop and chat and say what the fuck. Cause he's probably never gonna stop running if I do that. And this is a game in the morning, and you know, 37 minutes. It's kind of ridiculous for 22 people. So yeah. Facing this guy for days, I see the courts. He's gonna run into the forest, he doesn't have to turn, or I think he's gonna have the advantage. This is what I think is gonna happen. Hopefully, I thought the mobs are gonna come through, like, I'm sort of really pissed me off. I mean, it would've been nice, but, like... Then, I finally see what this guy does. He's on there. Please, no! Yeah, this guy's a freaking Kanga. This guy really pisses me off right here. I'm on the force field. I hate you. Yeah, I hate him now. Yeah, if you're sorry, then come fucking down, okay? If you're sorry, then come down. I'm just gonna wait till they... I threaten with that. That doesn't work. Hmm. Then I think, why can't I? Maybe I can use water. If you really want to be a dick, I guess you could water to the top of the forest field. If you really wanted to, it's kind of risky. I figured out. I figured out that you actually can place water on the forest field. So, for people who are watching, this gives you a really good advantage. He's trying to do an MLG thing. Yeah, I hit him in the air. A motherfucker. But yeah, that was a really annoying game. If a guy does do that, you can always water up to him and he won't be able to place blocks or break anything. So, unless he jumps, he is screwed. I burned these creepers. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later.